how to use PowerPoint. So I've got the PowerPoint application open here on my desktop and what PowerPoint is is a series of slides so you can show off some of your work. So we've got a number of different possibilities of slides so I'll just show you some of them now and we'll set up a basic slide. So um, I'm going to do something here where I'm going to give a presentation all about um, sustainable farming, sustainable mm -hmm. consumerism. How do people, when we go and spend our money in the shops, that we don't rip off farmers? So I'm going to give a title first of all. So there's my title. I might decide to change the style of the writing or the colour. So I'm going to make it, let's say, uh, I don't want to make it red. Let's say I'm going to make it a slightly orange colour. Uh, I might make it, let's say, a little bit smaller so that I can... Uh, maybe kind of write a bit more about it and I'm going to resize the box but I'm going to have that there you know up there at the top and you know we need to think about uh, those who make the goods that you buy and we can see that there's a mistake there in the spelling that was highlighted with the red, so that was fantastic. So I have that in there, and maybe might put more of a paragraph in it. I'll leave that as a start. So maybe I might have uh, the next slides. I'll think of a couple of slides. I'm going to have some pictures in the next one where I'll, let's see, what's, what's going to look like here? So maybe I might have uh, some words on the left and a picture on the right, something like that. And I might do that uh, three times, so I can press uh, Control and Duplicate. And uh, I can copy that again. And let's see. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it again. And I'll paste it again. And I'll paste it again. So in, let's say, three of them, I'm going to have, let's say, a picture. So in here, I'm going to have a picture. And I've already got some pictures lined up. So I went to the internet and I took down some pictures to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. So I might start off and talk about here's the consumer. So they'll go in there into that picture. Uh, the next picture, I might put in the businessman who makes money uh, selling stuff. And then I'll have another picture. Uh, I just went to Google and I downloaded a picture of a farmer okay, uh, from Africa who's going to make the goods. So <coughs> give this a title here. That's it, called the consumer. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to maybe resize that bit. So I'll highlight all of the words there. And size 16 is a bit small, so maybe we'll try size 25, see how that is. And maybe I might uh, center it, so it'll be in the middle of the box. And I can have other words there as well. Maybe I might have a, a gap between the first box. So these, these are called text boxes. And you can resize these and you can make the words in them bigger or smaller. So in, uh, let's see, I'll undo that. Uh, so in this one here, I'm going to make it a little bigger. And I might make it a different color again. And I'll choose green this time. And my picture. Uh, maybe I might want to have my picture a bit bigger so everyone can see what's going on in it. And I'll have businessman. And let's see. I make him size 50 again, that was the other size. I'm going to use a completely different color for him. Um, and I'll make that then, let's say size 25 again, following the same, and I'll center it. And then down here, the last one I'll have. firmer and I'll make that size 50 and I'll choose a different color 
Let's see, I'll go red. So a bit of an explanation again, and I'll go and I'll make it a size 25 again. I'll center it, and I'll make it a completely different color. I say this time I'll go purple. Okay, and I'll separate these, and I'll make the farmer a little bit bigger. And maybe I might have an explanation or something there for that one. But I have the basics of a slideshow here. So this is going to be on a screen behind me as I talk and I explain what is going on in the slides. So I might decide to, um, uh, let's say, change the look of all the slides. So I might decide that all of the slides, I might change the background on all of them. So we have that there. And let's say if I... Uh, put that background onto, let's see, no, um, let's see how I change my background style, that's what I'll do, okay, so I might decide to change the color, okay, so um, let's see if I, the color at the moment is white, so maybe I might make the color green, okay, I could apply that to all of my slides, so they're all green, Maybe I might make it a gradient so it kind of, uh, we have different colors and we have a green and we have a blue here and they kind of slide up and down. Uh, we have a gap between the two of them or we might have a picture, something behind it, okay? And there's obviously, we can go and choose, you know, the different pictures that I might decide to have here in the background. So I might have a picture there ready to go on. Um, I might have maybe a pattern, okay, something like that, okay. But no, I, I think I'm going to stick with a gradient fill and I'm going to apply that to all of my slides. Um, I might decide maybe to have, let's say, a transition from one slide to the other. So maybe they might fade, okay. So when that first slide comes up, it fades, okay. Maybe I might do the same for all of my slides, so I'll apply that to all. Um, and I'll just fade all of them, okay? Uh, so I'm happy enough for the way that's going to look. Um, maybe I might decide to have an animation on a slide. So this slide here, for example, um, I'm going to have, if I click on the slides, we have that there, there's all the different things. So I might have an entrance effect. So the idea is I have three different things on my slide. So I might have this slide come up first, uh, this bit of it, the consumer, then I'll, uh, so I can talk about who the consumer is. Then maybe I might have a picture of the consumer that'll come up second. And then the third is, you know, we are the ones that, that uh, want to buy my description, okay, that I'll have to explain to people. So my entrance effect. So number one, this one here is going to appear first. And then I click on that one, and that's going to appear next. And then this one here. Uh, that will appear third. So these things appear one, two, three. Oh, that doesn't come up. Okay, so they come up like that. Right, so let's just have a look and see what my slideshow is going to be like. So go to slideshow. Okay, I'm going to play it from the start of my slideshow. So there's the beginning. Okay, uh, now it fades out and fades into the next one. And the first, so it faded in, I had nothing first. Then I clicked and I got the consumer, talk about the consumer, and I have the picture of the consumer, and then I have the words that come up. So that's what I mean by uh, animation. So each part of it comes up slightly separately, and you can choose different ways of doing it. This one doesn't have an animation, it just fades in, and so does this fade in, and that last slide we had was empty. That's how to make a slideshow.